Hey everybody, uh, Sean here. Uh, we're going to go through in Sourcing Secrets, uh, you know, uh, a whole suggested workflow from, uh, I had a lot of questions on what, you know, what a brand is as it correlates to, um, you know, a company or a manufacturer, wholesaler, what people call a wholesaler or distributors. Uh, and essentially there is only a, a couple of things. So when you say a wholesaler, really and most times that's a manufacturer so one of two things that are going on when you want to buy direct in a wholesale fashion you're either going to buy directly from the company that makes it which you know a good majority of the time is what you're going to be doing unless you're dealing with a giant brand you know like hasbro or you know barbie stuff or, or lego uh, and even Lego, you know, sells directly. But a lot of those companies, like all your Star Wars and Disney, is usually going through a distributor. Um, but for smaller brands, which is what I would suggest you focus on, brands that don't have thousands of items, brands that are going to be more open uh, to what you and I do, then uh, you're probably going to be buying direct. The other option is to buy through what you would probably think of as a wholesaler, which would be uh, some kind of a distribution company who has deals with multiple uh, brands or manufacturers. So uh, it's a company that's buying, uh, buying directly from the manufacturer so that they don't have to deal with uh, orders and, uh, you know, storefronts and people who, you know, people are buying to resell. Uh, so they buy at a small, uh, a small markup, and then they uh, resell it to you. And those are typically called a distributor. So you're going to be either be buying direct from the manufacturer, or you're going to be using a distributor. So uh, what I'm going to do today is show you uh, the process that we go through to, uh, you know, start at our brands page, find a brand, uh, you know, how we would go about selecting them, what what I'm personally interested in and what I may not be interested in. And, uh, you know, you can obviously either, uh, you know, follow my lead or, you know, look to source however it is that, that you feel uh, is best for your business. Uh, but I'm going to show you what works for us um, and how we select that, how we kind of vet that before we even bother going in and, and contacting them. Um, uh, so let's uh, let's get into it. Uh, so I sell a ton of grocery, so uh, I'm going to go look at grocery, and that's all you have to do is select the main brand here, um, I mean your main category, and click on brands. And this will take you to the brand page, uh, it takes a moment to populate, and as soon as you um, see this on the side in your search box, that means you can sort it, you can, uh, you can sort by whatever you want. Uh, the IDs, the brand name, uh, the amount of products, and you can select as many as you want. So mm -hmm. right now we're just looking to, uh, you know, kind of vet the products. So we're looking by the main first. And I'm, you know, I'm usually not interested in these main brands. Like Trader Joe's obviously is just all their private label stuff they're selling in stores. Um, you know, Wilton, I know you can buy directly from them. But, you know, things like Starbucks, McCormick, you're going to have to find a distributor for uh, and so on. We're working on an option uh, for the private label brands where we'll just have um, a little icon up here uh, when it's something that we've identified as a private label brand. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way down this list and I'm not worried about um, usually things that have hundreds of items. I'm going to go look at items that have you know, dozens or just several, because those products are probably something that people found in a store or found some other way, and they've listed them on Amazon. And then they, um, you know, they probably have more than what's listed on Amazon. So, you know, we can take and find those products that people have been using, um, you know, retail arbitrage, online arbitrage to sell a few of them. Uh, and then we can contact that manufacturer, get a wholesale account set up, and then, um, you know, have access to their whole line. Or, you know, if it's a distributor, it's even better because you'll be able to access multiple lines. Uh, so I'm just, uh, there's 1600 pages here. Most of those are like in the one. So uh, I'm, when you're trying to, uh, you know, scroll a lot, I would say, 
you probably want to switch up to more than 10 pages at a time. Uh, so I'm just going to go down to, you know, I like to get in somewhere in like the 10 to 20 uh, range. And once we're in this range, we can see, you know, there's a ton of good stuff that um, you may not just see uh, regularly, but obviously this is all, you know, stuff that's selling in. Uh, everything here is in the 100,000 range. So, um, you know, jerky.com, that may be something that just sold on a website. Um, Big League Chew, obviously, is part of a bigger brand. I'm not sure who makes that. Um, Matador, again, is a jerky made by another brand. Um, this House King um, looks interesting. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and select this uh, and hit download. And we'll go ahead and open that up. And uh, as you can see here, here's a list of all the ASINs and the brand. Titles, UPCs, and ranks uh, it was a suggestion that was just added at the last minute uh, right before the webinar. So um, we're still populating all that info. Um, we originally were just doing ASINs and the brand, but, um, you know, I had a suggestion to add that info. So more than likely, by the time you're watching this video, uh, some or all of the categories should be populated by then. Um, so um, so we want to see what kind of products this Health King is selling. So what I usually do is just select, um, you know, select one of the ASINs. We'll go back over to the browser. And we'll just look this up on Amazon. Okay, so it looks like it's mostly herb tea. Uh, we can click on the brand and see the kind of products it is. Um, so we can see it's all herb tea. Uh, obviously, with a generic brand like that, there's going to be a lot of different um, products that kind of get thrown in there because anybody who puts that brand in there is going to come up there. So. Uh, we're going to look at, um, so we're going to go and try and find uh, some health team. Um, a couple things I'll do. I'll use Google. Uh, I don't see anything off the bat, just more links to Amazon and all that kind of stuff. So let's just uh, type in healthking.com and we can see you know, it looks like it's based out of Chicago and they are selling what looks like the same teas and uh, right here under where to buy uh, apparently there is there's a retail list which only has one website um, and under wholesale uh, it has uh, their contact information it looks like uh, they have a number of distributors so it says their major distributors include trio life select nutrition unfi palco distributor is nature's best uh, independent distributors i don't know if that's a brand or just a generic designation uh, supernatural distributors uh, island natural marshall distributors best life you know and so on so they have like a dozen or so um, different ones uh, and it says that retailers are equally welcome to order from our distributors or directly from us so now you have a list of leads of a ton of great places to buy it looks like tea based supplements tea oils uh, and of course the herbal teas that we've seen on Amazon um, they're located here uh, in the US and um, Let's see, so this is a credit application. If you want to get credit, obviously you don't have to submit that to almost none of the places as long as um, you know, you're paying up front, which I think most resellers are going to do. So if you want to order or get a price list, um, it says distributors and resellers, please contact us here. So it has an 800 number, a local uh, Chicago number, uh, or just email them. Um, individual customers we're not worried about uh, so 
Um, basically, here's all the information you need to set up a wholesale account. Looks like they have a ton of different products, uh, as I said, along with what's already uh, listed on Amazon. Uh, so all you have to do is send them, uh, you know, you send them uh, basically a generic email, tell them they're looking to set up a wholesale account, um, and ask them what kind of information they need. Usually, I will also send them my reseller certificate, which it could be called different things depending on what state you're in, but, uh, you know, um, a tax ID uh, sometimes, uh, but it's the paper that you get when you register to collect sales tax. So whatever your state calls that, every state seems to call it something else, but uh, whatever your state calls it, um, I usually submit that, say I'm looking to set up a wholesale account to sell your teas and other products. Uh, you know, here is my contact information, you know, an address, a, a phone number, your name, and, um, you know, I would say, you know, here is a copy of my uh, reseller certificate. Um, please let me know any additional information you need, uh, and uh, that's all you really need to get going. They're either going to possibly tell you they're not, you know, uh, they may ask some more questions. Uh, they're probably not going to do anything, but, you know, possibly set up your account or, uh, you know, call to set up your account, however they plan on doing it. Uh, but you also have a list of several distributors here that you can set up accounts at, buy from them and buy directly from them. So uh, just with that one lead, you know, that was only 15 products, you found, you know, a ton of products. I don't know how much stuff they have here, but it looks like there's, you know, a lot of different products uh, that they have here. Uh, so, you know, they have oral liquids, they have herbal teas, they have, um, looks like they have teas, they have oils, uh, you know, so there's a ton of products. If you want to bring new products, uh, you can investigate all the stuff they're already selling. You can bring new products to Amazon if you're interested in that. Uh, if not, setting up that that account at that distributor could bring you, you know, probably thousands or tens of thousands of products if you set up with, uh, with all those listed. Um, and uh, that's about it for that. So uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.